What's up everybody, it's Adi from GameStorm and today I've got a tutorial on how to convert FLAC and USF slash mini USF audio files to either WAV or MP3s. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is download a WinAmp. I'm going to open that so you can see what it looks like. We're going to be using this. Okay. So what you can do with Winamp is just play a file and then it'll convert it for you if you have the right plugins. Uh, you can download the plugins off the internet. I don't remember exactly where I got mine, but you can find them. Um, so let's see. You want to go to Options and go to Preferences. Now, there's a bunch of stuff on the left here. And the things we're going to look at are the plugins. We're going to look at the input and the output. So the first thing is the input. Um, what I found was this right here, 64th note, final, and it has the USF converter is what it is. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch of other ones already in here. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the one we're going to be using right there. So, you know, you got to configure. Um, the first thing you want to do is you look at these three options right here. Do not click play forever. <laughs> Trust me. Um, if you click play forever, when you drag a file into Winamp, it will literally play the file forever. And when you try and convert it, it'll just keep going. It'll be gigs and gigs worth of music. And for one file, it'll be like hours long. So do not do that. Just click always use default length. That's, that's what you should do. Um, the other things, you can just look here at what I have. Nothing else you really need to mess with. This is all good, so you can just hit OK. Now, go to the output. Um, the thing I use is the Nullsoft Disk Writer. That was one of the plugins that I got. Um, so you want to configure that. This is the one that's going to actually convert it for you. So you can choose the directory where you want to save it. Um, you know, you can make it to where it goes to the same file as where the file already is. Um, you know, all this other stuff. The main things really that you're going to need is do not click this because if you click that, uh, every time you drag another file in here, another music file, it's going to just keep putting those files together into one big file. So you don't want that. Um, so don't, don't select that. Uh, this part right here says overwrite thread priority. Make sure that's not clicked. Usually it is. So don't, don't let that be clicked. Um, I put force WAV file, or WAVE, what do you wanna, whatever you want to call it, but um, you can hit recommended by it shows WAVE or WAV. Um, for this, I'm not really sure what this does, I just hit one. Um, you want to hit the display save as dialog for every file because it makes it easier to see what you're going to do. Um, and if I were you, I would drag in each file individually. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it does when you drag more than one in. Um, I did it once, but it kind of messed up or something, so I'm not really sure what, what happened there, but I would just do them one at a time. And then this is the main part right here, convert to format. So you're going to click on that. Um, I already have ones set up for me, but um, basically for the FLAC or mini USF, just choose PCM, which is going to be the WAV file. Don't do MP3. You're tempted to do that, but it just does not work like it makes it either go really really fast like the song is twice the speed so it's like all high-pitched chip monkey and then if you like try and fix it and you know this is 39 ki kilobytes per second you're like okay i'll just choose a lower one you know it's 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 stupid it just doesn't work it makes it go too slow it, just don't do that if you're going to do anything change it to a wave file first and then uh convert that into mp3 and i'll show you how to do that here in a second but basically what um I chose was obviously PCM and then for the quality I chose the best one right here 187 kilobytes per second 4800 or 1000 kilohertz so yeah that, that's the one I chose and you said okay so you're all good now that's the only part you need really okay once you have the configuration set up um, you want to make sure that Winamp has the files you want. So go up to the top and says like the file types and choose the ones you want Winamp to automatically open. 
uh, the mini USFs right here. This is the one I'm going to be using. I should probably select that too. Huh, good idea. Um, so yeah, you want to have that selected and then you're good. So now anytime you open one of those files, it's just uh, automatically open it for you and, and win it. So um, I've got some Skyward Sword files that I've found that are flags. So I'll do a flag one first. So what you want to do is just double click it. And it's going to pop up with that window that we put in the configurations for it to pop up so we can name it. I guess I'll just call it SS test and I'll save it in the same file. And once I click this, it's going to go really quick. So you're going to think it's messed up, but it's actually supposed to do that like really fast. I'll show you. Ready? Go. So oh, there it went. And to playback, it shows the time up here of how much time has gone by, and then it tells you when it's done, so then you can play it. So now I'm going to play it and see what it did. Okay, now I'm going to try a mini USF file. Um, I have the Glover OST in here. Let me find it. Okay. And this is the whole reason I uh, tried to find out how to convert these was because of this OST. Uh, I wanted the Glover soundtrack, and then I found out the one I got, and pretty much the only one there is, is in this file type. So I was like, well, crap, I need to figure out how to convert it. Once I did, figured I'd show it to the rest of you uh, YouTubers out there. So um, let's pick one. Which one looks good? Let's do bonus level, I guess. So I'll double click that. And I guess we'll put it in the same directory. So I'm going to hit it open. It's going to go quick. You ready? Okay, okay, there it goes. And you can see this is like the time bar right here, and it's telling you so. And that's how long the track is. And once it gets to the end, it'll pop up down here. Boom, done. Okay, so now we need to find it so I can play it for you. And it's right there, so let's play it. So as you can see, that one worked too. And I'm just going to show you that you can't play these in anything else. So uh, let's try and open this with Windows Media. Right now it just has Winamp on there. So let's deselect that. Let's find Windows Media. Hit OK. Oh, oh, it's like, what the F? So yeah. Can't do that. Okay, let's just try another one for shits and giggles. Let's try uh, Zune, which is my favorite media player, since I have a Zune. <laughs> so let's try it. And nothing happened. So, yeah. I'll try and uh, drag it in here and see what happens. Nothing. It's like WTF is this file. So, yeah. That's why you have to convert it. Now, now that we have it converted, the best thing you're going to find, or that I've found, in my opinion, to convert any type of file are these two programs any video converter and real player real player is free this is free also but uh it the real player comes with a real player converter which is amazing so i'm going to open this up takes a second okay now, it gives you a few options. Um, some of them you have to upgrade to the Real Player Pro to use, but you can, you can choose, uh, you know, there's video formats, audio formats, you can show all. 
right now I've got it on MP3. That's what we want to convert to, right? So you can go details, choose the format, which obviously is MP3, and then choose the quality. That's the best one. And you want always want to use a constant bitrate. Variable ones, uh, you know, it can use more data. And if you know the actual variable bitrate, then that's better. That helps you get it exactly how you need it. But I just use the best one. So, anyways, you're you're good with that now. Um, let's get the Skyward Sword one that we converted. So the wave file, just drag it in. Shows it right there. You can choose what directory you want. You can browse and actually put it where you want it. I'm just gonna put it back in this folder. So I'm gonna start the conversion, and it has a little percent right here. And there we go. So now the MP3 is done, and my MP3 is played with Zoom. So let's see what happens. So there you go. MP3 from a FLAC file. And you can do the exact same thing with the mini USF and the USF files. So uh, download Winamp, get real player if I were you, comes with the converter. And that's all I know. So uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching our tutorial. And uh, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and keep watching videos from GameStorm. Thank you guys. It's Audi signing out.